Hi, this is Sohram and in this video, I'm going to show you five ways to hide jump cuts. A jump cut occurs during editing when we remove a part of the middle in the one continuous movement and join it again. If the subject is moving, maybe this jump isn't too bad and even helps the rhythm. However, in case like a person's speech, probably is not. In interviews, naturally, the answers are not read from the text. As a result, the order of using the verbs is sometimes confused. The sentences are not connected correctly. There are silence and repetition of the topic, which like a text require editing, deletion and modification. This will cause the image jump from one to another. For example, here I am removing the silence part and the person's thinking time. When I join them, you can see the jump here. If we have to hear these words continuously and see the image of the speaker, one of the things we can do to cover this job is to change the size of one of the video clips. I select this clip that I caught and in the effect control panel in the scale section, I increase its size by 150%. This is the amount that any video can be enlarged without losing quality. Here I correct the framing in the position section and now when I play, because of the difference in the frame size of the clips, the jump cut becomes a match cut and also it will connect to the next one. We can even increase the frame size more so that the difference is greater and cause better match cut. In the next method, I use a transition to cover this jump. In the effects window, in the video effects section, and from dissolve group, I add morph cut between the two clips. I reduce its duration to 7 frames, and after analysis, it morphs the pixel in such a way that no jump is visible. Let's see it in full screen, and it works very well. Now I reset everything and the next method to hide the jump cut is to use fade in and fade out. This technique can be applied into two ways. One is to use the cross dissolve transition. In this way, I take the cut video to the second line and adding dissolve to the beginning of this clip and another one to the end of the previous clip. I reduce the time of both transitions so that it doesn't look so long, giving a nice fade in and fade out. We can combine this technique by changing the size of the image of one of the clips and creating more interesting cut. Another technique here is to remove the first clip dissolve and keep only the second clip transition, creating faster rhythm like an eye opening effect. The same thing can be easily done with another transition called Deep to Black. I return the cut video in the line number one and add a Deep to Black transition between two clips and here we go. Okay, the other way is that instead of using Deep to Black transition, we can use the same item listed below and that is Deep to White, which fades the image to white and brings it back from it. When we reduce its duration, it works like a flashlight. And the last method is to use videos that lights hit the lens, known as light lakes, as a transition. In this way, I choose one of these type of videos and put it in the second video line. We need the part where the image starts from the darkness and then light fill the entire frame until it goes back to black. I select this piece and bring the display marker to the cut point, placing the video of light leaks where a frame fills with light. Now in the effect control window, in the opacity section, set the color combination mode to a screen and the effect will be ready. If we want, we can increase the speed of the light video using the speed duration option. Readjust it and it is ready to go. Of course, we can combine this method with changing the size of one of the videos, creating better cut and rhythm for the editing. Although I am using Premiere Pro here, you can use the described techniques in any other editing programs. Hope you find it useful and make magic with your videos.